Hello YouTube, hello America, hello the world. This is Eric at FlexPPC.com. Okay, I'm going to do a short little video on ball valves. This is a standard ball valve. It's called the MIP, molded in place. MIP means that there's a little ball in here and when this valve is made, this little ball is put in here and the seals are put in here and then it's in, inside the mold and then it's injection molded. And then after it comes out of the mold, they put the, the uh, handle on it, or shaft in the handle. So, great, this is what everybody knows, got a zillions of these out here. But this is a unionized ball valve, not a different size, but it's just what I grabbed. So you've got a gray or white, doesn't matter, it's still the same thing. This one right here, if you use it and you have to replace it, you have no choice but to cut the whole thing out. Whereas a unionized ball valve, these have unions. Just like the other video I did with a union previously, this has got unions. So if the thing goes bad, if the ball valve goes bad, start leaking or whatever, gets damaged, even if they're like, say for example, a handle breaks, some, some of the valves you can get new handles for, some of them you can't, you just have to replace the whole valve. This one's really nice because this way you just unscrew the unions, slide the old one out, slide the new one in, put the unions back together, and you're cooking with gas. You're done. Okay? Now there's something else about unionized valves. I'm not sure what I said. Okay. This piece right here, this is not molded in place. The ball, there's a retainer. Unscrew this retainer, the ball comes out, which means you can replace the ball. It also means that you can set the tension on the ball seals by tightening or loosening this retainer, which affects Number one, how well it seals, how much pressure it'll seal against, and number two, how much force it takes to turn the handle. Okay? Speaking of which, sometimes people buy big old ball valves from us, three inch, four inch, six inch, and they say, oh, I can't turn the handle. Okay, that's normal. <laughs> if you have a molded in place valve, there's nothing you can do. Once you get the valve in place, glue it all in together, you'll be able to turn the valve handle no problem. Okay? That's right, you just don't have enough leverage to do it because you're just hiding, holding onto this little piece. But once it's in, together, glued in place, they usually have a big long handle like this. You will be able to turn it, okay? The very first time you turn them, they're very hard because like I said, these are molded in place. The tension is set. It's never been used. There's no wear on the seals whatsoever, okay? But you will be able to turn them. If that really bothers you, buy the unionized uh, ball valves because, once well, again, take, oh, wrong end, take it apart. Loosen the ring, the retaining ring, that'll make this easier to turn. There, okay. Tighten it up, gives you more pressure uh, that it'll seal against. Okay? So I wanted to show you unionized ball valves. Once again, just like unions, at one time these were extremely expensive. Today, they're a little more expensive than your standard ball valve, but not by a whole lot, okay? For the convenience, the ease of use and replacing, and the ability to tension it, the ability to change the ball if you need to, I think it's totally worth the money. Okay, so this is Eric at Flex PVC. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. If you have any more questions, you can email me. Uh, top of the, I'll go to flexpvc.com, top of the page, top right corner, click on the blue circle with an envelope in it, or you can call us at 888-782-3539, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m., no, 10 a.m., sorry, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, I answer emails six days a week, every day except Saturday. So we'd love to hear from you if you have any problems. Always here to help. Thank you for watching. Oh, wait, one more thing. When you buy, when you buy unionized valves, they come with both ends. If you buy a ball valve, you either buy socket or thread. But when you buy the unionized, they come with both threaded or socket. This is a socket, this thread. So you get both. And so that way you can do something like thread on one side and socket on the other if you, if you so desired. Pipe thread here, socket here, or vice versa. And you can change it out anytime you want. And it's also nice to know it gives you a little extra socket here if you ever need to use it. Okay, thanks for watching.